Welcome to Outdoor Kitchen TV. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the cement board in the front here. We're gonna tape and thin set the seams of the cement board on the corners and uh, the uh, seams. With the shims in the position, we'll go ahead and bring over our cement board and um, clamp it on here so that we can mark our cutouts. We'll climb inside the island with a black permanent marker and we'll trace along the inside of these cutouts so that we'll have perfect um, templates to take it back over to the cutting area and cut out the holes for the cutouts. We like to do these big sheets flat on the ground for safety. It's much easier to handle and uh, as long as there's nothing underneath here but dirt, you're safe to cut through with your grinder. With one person holding the cement board up against the front, the second person is inside with the permanent marker making the lines, the cutout lines. It's that easy, no measuring, you just trace it and cut. Now we'll go over and do the, the next one in the aisle. Just like so. If you have a fridge in your island, that's a really good place where you have access to inside of your island. You can always just roll your fridge out and then climb into the island to uh, to do uh, repairs or cleaning, things like that. Now we'll go ahead and pull this off and go make the cutouts. Now with all the cutouts made, we'll go ahead and transport it back over to the island and screw it in. It's very important that when you're screwing it in that you put clamps around any delicate edges so that when you're screwing it doesn't break the cement board. It's that easy to do cement board. This is something any homeowner can do. We have it nice and flush on the outside corner here. The great thing about cement board is it's very forgiving. If you damage the cement board, you can always come back later and tape and thin set over the damage to repair it. So don't worry if you uh, screw too much or do something wrong. It's easily repaired. There's our grill cut out and the doors below cut out. We just carry it right over to the frame. We got our screws and drill waiting and the shims set up. And we'll go ahead and slide in position. Just like that. Beautiful, that's gonna fit perfect and we're just gonna screw it on. Screw it on in. Any homeowner can do this, it's very easy. 
now we're taking our thin set tape. It's alkaline resistant. Make sure you get the one for cement board. You wouldn't want to use the one for the wall board. And we're going to cover over our seams here on the corner and also the inside corner and also connecting over to the fireplace so it all looked like one unit uh, with the fireplace. You have to cover all seams, countertop seams, uh, corners, everything uh, for stucco and tile jobs. Now if you're doing stone veneer you could just go ahead and skip this and just put on your cornerstones pieces here. You wouldn't need this uh, thin set tape. It's very easy to do. It's self-adhesive. It sticks on here. You just got to make sure that your cement board is kind of clean, uh, dust free. Clean the dust off first or the tape won't stick good. Then you go ahead and you take your thin set mortar and you mix it up like this, this thick consistency. And you take a uh, plastic trowel or metal trowel and just spread a thin layer over that, that tape. Uh, the thin set mortar that we're using is uh, from the hardware store. This one is uh, standard thin set mortar. Cost us about 10 bucks. You just mix it with water. It's really easy to use. It's a gray color. When you're doing an inside corner, make sure you get it nice and uh, tied in there at a right angle. You don't want it uh, sticking out too far. Just like that. That's great. So here we're connecting the island to the fireplace. We're putting half of the tape onto the um, cement board of the island, half onto the fireplace. And we just push it in nice and tight into the corner like that. Here's a look at the inside corner of the barbecue island. If you have trouble with the tape sticking, you can add a little thin set mortar to help hold your tape if it keeps falling off. That's another trick. So we're applying thin set over here in the corner. You just cover that uh, tape. We'll cover also the fireplace a little bit, the tape. Since we're using the same color stucco as the fireplace, it'll all blend in and look fine. You'll never know that we did this. Now the way we're covering this thin set over the cement board, that's the same thing you would do to any damage on your cement board. Like let's say you have a um, a big crack somewhere or something or um, um, maybe you did a screw too hard you can just cover it with some tape and thin set. Also before you do stucco you have to cover all screw heads with thin set mortar otherwise they'll rust through your stucco and wreck the stucco or crack it even. This is very easy applying the thin set mortar it's just a thin coating to support that stucco in the corner there. You can use a metal trowel like this or you could use a small yellow plastic trowel, uh, like a two inch one. Uh, it's easier to get into the corners for some people. If you have two people here, one guy can be doing this on the tape and the second guy could take his small yellow plastic trowel and a little bit of this mortar and start going over those screws. They just just like that. You just go right over the screws. Every screw has to be covered before you do stucco. If you're doing um, stone veneer, you don't have to worry about the screws.